you know, we got a little further in and then people really started thinking, hey, I've got to support small business and the community really came out and supported me. They bought gift cards, they shopped early for Christmas and um, which, you know, that community support is one of the things that led me to want to serve the city as a city director. You know, it felt so good to come home and you know, being in Northwest Arkansas for almost 20 years, we saw a lot of change, and not all of it good, and so coming back, it's, it feels like a real community, and I just wanted to be uh, more involved and active in the community, and, you know, being here, it feels like you really can make a difference. There's a lot of things um, that I feel like I approach a little bit differently because I am a small business owner. Um, you know, coming onto the board as one of the younger members and, you know, the only woman on the board, I was a little worried, you know, what is my place here? Because we have, you know, Director Rigo is in healthcare, Director Good is in transportation, um, Director Morton is, he's our finance guy, um, Director Settles an engineer, Director Martin is in tech, you know, it was like, what do I bring? that's different, you know, what do I have to add? And so, you know, the first few weeks I was really kind of struggling with that. And, um, and then I thought, you know, I bring a small business perspective. And there's a lot of things with government, you know, that are so different. It, it moves much more slowly than I would like. Um, but there's just a lot of common sense things that when you run a business, you realize, you know, you have to be able to make a quick decision. And, um, you know, I think it just allows me to have a little bit different perspective about, um, you know, how do we utilize our money? I mean, you know, in a small business, you have a budget, you have to stick to it, and um, you have to mind every penny. And so I, uh, I try to apply that uh, to the government as well.